Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Alicia. I love all things makeup, all things beauty. If you're into that kind of thing, I think you would really enjoy my content. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe to catch all my future videos. In today's video, we are doing this eyeshadow look using the Huda Beauty Obsessions, the Wild Obsessions, excuse me, the Jaguar palette. So this is a nice like plastic packaging. Um, and then when you open it up, you've got a mirror and then you have got nine shades. This retails for $28. Now, when I saw the Jaguar palette, I immediately thought of her Smoky Obsessions palette, which was one of the first palettes that she came out with. Um, and you can tell they are definitely very different. I'm going to give you guys some swatches of this palette and then I'll compare some shades to this one just so we can see. All right, so this palette does not have shade names, but this is just one swatch of every shade in this palette. And I'll hold it up so you guys can get a look. And the first thing I wanna compare is those silvers in the palette. So this is the Wild Obsessions, and this is the smoky obsessions this one is definitely a brighter like true silver whereas this one is more of like a taupe in the smoky obsessions all right next up we're gonna swatch like the bronzy type tones so that is the wild obsessions and that is the smoky obsessions you can tell those are not very similar at all just so we can tell the difference in the blacks, this is the Wild Obsessions. This is the Smoky Obsessions. I actually prefer the newer black more. And then these browns look similar. So this is the Wild Obsessions and this is the Smoky Obsessions. So you can tell, definitely different. So now that you have seen the swatches, I am gonna let you know, I picked up two of the Wild Obsessions palettes. I believe that she has four that are on Sephora's website, and then there's one I believe that's ex exclusive, excuse me, to her website. Um, but I picked up two. I will likely do a video with the other one in the nearish future. I've got a few other videos lined up in front of it. But um, we are gonna go ahead and get started with the tutorial part of this video. We are gonna go ahead and just get started. I've got my skincare on, I've got my lids prepped with my MAC Painterly paint pot, and we are gonna go ahead and get right into this palette. It's such like a cool lover's dream, which I do love cool tones. So we are gonna go ahead and get into this. All right, so I think the first color that I'm gonna go in with is this shade right here, this kind of like peachy shade. And I'm gonna go ahead, I love Huda Beauty's like layout, these nine pans here, and then you've got the mirror, nice like sturdy travel case. I love the size and how easy these are to use and travel with and just throw in your makeup bag, so. I'm going to go ahead, tap into that with my blending brush, and you can see all that kick up. But basically with this shade, it's almost my skin tone. So really, I'm just laying this down as a foundation to kind of blend the other transition shades over. Okay, and you can tell, like very little difference right but it is going to help us in blending i assure you all right next i'm going to go into like a smaller blending brush and i'm going to go into this 
Am I going to go into that shade? Yeah, I think I'm going to go into this shade right here. That is blending beautifully. So I do like windshield wiper motions and then every once in a while I will also do these little like little circular motions and it just helps everything blend really seamlessly. Okay. Next up I'm going to take just like a little flat type of a brush and honestly I think I'm going to go into the black. And I'm just going to like pack this on the outer corner over here. And this is another thing that changed when I started doing my eyes first, like before black shadow intimidated me so much. Like I rarely ever used it just because I was always afraid it would mess up my whole you know, makeup look, but doing the eyes first eliminates all that. All right, so we got that on. You see where it's like in this crease right here? I put just a tiny bit there and I'm going back in with this um, crease brush we used for that cool shade. No additional product, but I'm just kind of blending that ever so slightly. Okay, now there are so many, I want to use all of these shades, honestly, like, don't they just look delicious, like, especially that purple, but I think today I'm going to go in with this shade right here, kind of looks like our shirt, a little spotted, right, I just want to see what that shade's about, hmm, this may be darker than I was wanting to go, but... We'll go with it. That looks kind of cool. It's kind of got like a greenish, see that like olive kind of look to it? I don't know, that's, good. that's a cool color. Now I'm going to go back in with this crease brush just because we lost a little bit of that like coolish grayish purple type of a look uh, I'm gonna go back into here and I'm gonna put that like directly into the crease so I'm kind of looking down into my mirror and I'm going right along those edges very very little pressure like um, you see how far back my hand is on this brush the farther back you hold your brush the lighter the pressure that it's going to apply to your eyelid so okay and I think that's where I'm gonna leave that honestly there is no like highlight shade in this palette so before I do my brows, I will take my face highlighter that I'm going to use and just pop that right under the brow. But I'm going to go ahead, catch up the other eye. I'm going to clean this up. All right, so as I was saying, I'm gonna go catch this other eye up, do the rest of my face makeup, and then we'll be back for the lower lash line slash final thoughts. Hmm. All right, I've got most of my other makeup on. I'll run you through what I'm wearing really quickly. I have got on the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Hydra Foundation. I have mine in the shade 1.0. I've got on the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. I have mine in N or 1N. 
Um, so this is the little base combination that I have on. And then I set everything down with my Flower Beauty um, Light Illusion Powder Foundation. Love this powder. It is so freaking good. I put a tiny bit just like on my forehead and um, the tip of my nose of the um, Tarte Shape Tape Glow Powder in the shade Starlit. Such a tongue twister every single time. But I do love this powder. I just use it very, very sparingly. And then for my face, I... I can see myself just constantly using this. I love every single shade in this palette so much. Um, I do have a review of this up on my channel. I will link that video down below. But I've got on these two contour shades. I only wore this as a blush. So that's the only thing that you see on my cheeks. And then I do have on this highlighter. And it is just such like a wet, dewy looking highlighter. I freaking love it. I might want to pick up another one of these just because I know I'm going to run through that. And I think that's it. I used my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. And I think that gets us 100% up to speed. All right, so for this palette here, I'm going to go in with that black shade. And I'm just going to use a very tiny little angled brush. I'm going to dip in there, tap that off. And we're just gonna go very simple on the lower lashes. So I'm just gonna put some of this black. And then I'm gonna take my pencil brush and I'm gonna go into that like grayish purple shade, tap that off. And we're just gonna blend out that black. with that grayish purple, which is going to tie to what we've got going on on top and just kind of bring everything together. All right, so that's really it. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna go into this palette here and I'm just gonna take a little flat smudger brush Go into that highlight shade and just pop that right into the corner. And then as well, I'm going to brighten up this little inner portion right here. So that is it. I'm trying to decide if I want to pop any of this green down there. I might dip into here just a smidge. And like right here, I think is where I might pop a little bit of that green. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye, do my mascara, put on my lipstick, and then we'll be back for the final thoughts. All right guys, I am back. This is the final makeup look. I really, really love this eyeshadow palette. It's not a surprise to me. I have many of Huda's nine pan palettes. They all that I have picked up perform really, really well. Um, so let's talk about the palette just in general. I like the packaging. Some people will hate this, but I actually quite like it. I think it's different. Um, I love how portable this is, how travel friendly. We're finally getting where we can like travel again and stuff. Um, I love that it has got a mirror that makes it very convenient again for traveling. But yeah, this is the color story you're getting here. I think for the everyday consumer, this will probably be the one out of the whole like wild collection that you would want to pick up just because it's more neutral. It's more colors that you can use every single day. You can do a quick, just very neutral matte look. You can go very, very deep and smoky with this black. Um, I really think that this is a unique, like, smoky palette. It leans a lot more, like, purple, mauve and even, like I said, that green. The color that we have on, I really, really love. Um, now, if you do have the prior smoky palette, you can see these are different enough to definitely 
constitute picking up this palette if you already own this one. This one is definitely more warm and like bronzy tones, whereas this one is more cool toned, like purple vibes. So, um, for $28, nine eyeshadows, gorgeous packaging. You're paying like $3.11 per eyeshadow. I don't think that's bad at all. Um, I like that this is easy to store. It was extremely easy to use. You guys saw how it performed. Um, but yeah, I cannot say enough great things about this palette. I will have a tutorial coming up with the other one that I picked up, so stay tuned for that. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys have picked this up, if you picked up any of the other ones that you think I should pick up. Um, or, you know, if you want to see more looks, what do you guys want to see from me? Leave it down in the comments below. If you made it to the end, leave me like a butterfly or something like that. Love you guys. See you in my next one. Bye.